Hey everybody, our fuel is here. Welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Huh. Decided to switch up the party a little bit. Give Rex and Neo a break. Last time. Well, we did a side quest in, in this area. That involves talking, and my voice is still dead. This time, our heart to heart is going to be here. Take a rest. Alright. And Gorg wants to discuss with some discuss something. Alright then. So, time to start a side quest. This side quest, I'm lukewarm with. We have to start things out with a heart to heart. We'll get to that, but this heart to heart is really something fun. Alright then, so we have our heart to heart. You know the deal. Save, heart to heart, rest of the episode. And let's get started. Hey, Gorg, are you really planning on having a strategy meeting here? I thought perhaps it would be nice to have a change of scenery. Now, let's start off by considering our past battle experiences. Having analyzed our battles thus far, I've come to a conclusion. Considering we have five drivers on our team, we ought to think more about our formation. Tora, get it. Tora's so busy working with Poppy, not have time to think about teamwork with Rex Rex and friends. Indeed. Synergy between blades and drivers is important, but it can only get you so far. Gorg, saying we should think about synergy between driver and driver? Uh... What? What, what is that over on the other table? Meme, what wrong with Gorg? Hmm? Ah, no, it's nothing. As I was saying, we must consider the importance of the driver's actions in coordination with... Whoa. That woman over there, she's... she's eating a dessert I've never seen before. It looked like some kind of sweet pastry, but it contained... Is that woman distracting you? No, no, it's nothing. There's no need to concern yourselves. Gorg really staring a lot, though. Tora have feeling Tora seen that lady somewhere before. Maybe she's spy following us. No, really, that's really not the case. She has nothing to do with this. Meme? So, what are you staring for? It's... the dessert. Dessert? What Gorg mean? I... I couldn't help noticing the dessert that woman was eating. What? That all? Gorg should have said earlier. Tora want to eat scrummy food too. We all order dessert now. All right, we get it. Why don't we all discuss our battle strategies over some dessert? In that case, I'll have three of what she's having, if you're okay with that. All right, then. And with that, this time, we're going to do Gorg's Blade Quest. His blade quest is relatively easy to do. So, we need to head to Fonsumio Port and complete Follow Your Passion. This side quest is a long one. There is a lot of stuff that can either make this side quest not that long or super long. We're going to take the, uh, um, I guess the, uh, faster route. Alright then, and upon arriving here at Port, we have all been here. Hey you, you're a driver, ain't ya? Me? Yeah. So you are. Ah, what a stroke of luck. I was just looking for someone to pick me up bits and bobs for me. Bits and bobs? Yeah, that's right. It was, oh, about a year ago now. My ship ran aground and I didn't... And I did... Sorry. And did I feel like a fool? She was good. She was a good one. But I had to abandon her, along with all the cargo she was carrying. What sort of cargo are we talking about here? Paintings. Oh. And that's what I was hoping you could pick up. My very own arts works of art. So you're an artist. Not by trade, no. But I dabble. It's a passion of mine, I can't deny. It's not the best... I'm not the best of artists. Not by a long shot, 
but I still poured my heart and soul into those paintings. I had almost given up on them, to tell you the truth. It's been about a year, about a year now, and I'm still dwelling on this. What do you say? Could you help me out there? I see that these paintings are very important to you. All right, we'll get them back for you. I promise. Oh, really? Oh, that's fantastic. So where is the ship of yours that ran aground? Uh, mm, about that. Something wrong. Well, it was my ship, but I wasn't exactly in command. I had always left the navigation down to the captain. And when it ran aground, I wasn't actually on board. So I'm afraid I can't tell you its exact coordinates. Oh, come on! Alright. It might take in some looking around, then. I imagine it will, yeah. I wonder where it got to. Hmm. Were you acquainted with any of the crew? Of course. When's one's bound to know something, eh? So, could you tell us a bit about your old crew, Albin? Right all. I count three in town right now. It shouldn't be hard to track down. Their names are Bennett, Gamry, and Ridluck. Thanks again, and good luck. No problem. We'll take care of this. Gorg's your uncle. Alright then, so we have follow your passion. Alright then, so we have three people to look for. Right over here is the first one, Gamry. Yeah, I was a homeless man. That blast of the archipelago. Well, not much help. On right, to the other half of the city, starting at the playhouse. There we go. Where do we go from here? All right, Red Luck, you have any idea? A ship, a just a chef. All right, but I can tell you there is some sort of village nearby. All right then, so it's on the Ridget side of things. Um, no, the Fonset side of things. Alright, the question is, is it near the level 30 zone, or the level 40 zone? Bennett, please decide things for us. I hear about the ship. I was navigation officer back then. I was just starting out too. First ever voyage. Alright, so I decide. Anyway, heading into the cloud sea. Um, well, I skipped over that text, but the location we need to go to, to make things easy, is going to be Lotharian Archipelago. Fonset Waters. Godford's Isle. Alright then, so here in Godford Isle, uh, probably best bet is just to jump to our deaths. Well, to be exact, the location we need to go to is right down here. Quite the plummet, if you ask me. Man. Do you think someday soon, we'll be finished with the Cyclist Batch and we'll finally head to the World Tree? Actually, coming up really soon, we don't have many quests left. Alright then. So, heading up this little sandbar, we have a lot of level 46 Alago. I don't like the looks of this. Ugh, this has to be it, right? This piece of scrap. I don't think it could be anything else, to be honest. Now let's get what we came, out, came here for and leg it out. Wait. There are Alago nearby. Looks like they've taken up nests inside the ship. So we rush them down. What's the problem? Bravery and folly are two sides of the same coin. These Alago seem tougher than most. It wouldn't be wise to take them all on at once. So what are you going to do? I've got a plan, but first we're going to need to prepare some ingredients. Mind helping me out gathering them? Sure, I'll help. What is it you're after, though? We'll need a beautiful suit, a few lemon stones, and some hidden creepers. They're all native to Lotharia, so it shouldn't be hard to find them. When you've got the ingredients, come hand them over to me, okay? Off you go now. Alright then. Uh, game? There we go. So for this, we already have a beautiful suit. We need lemon stones, we got them all, so we just need some hidden creepers. Alright then, so Lemon Suit, the area for our suit is going to be in northern of Godsford's Isle, so right in this general area you'll be able to find them. For the Lemon Stones, 
Uh, pretty much found all over. You can find them, especially right in this general area. It's a good place to find them. Otherwise, the font of holy light. Um, wherever that is. Is that this island? No. Nope. Eh. Not really anything to note. Just search around here. For our next destination, we need to find some trees. Alright, for hiding creepers, the best area to look for is going to be here at the Anzal Hatchery. Poke around, find stuff. Let's see. Searching database. And right in this general area, they're a bit of an uncommon find, so it might be a bit tough finding them. Alternatively, find other wood wooded areas. I'll see you guys once I finally have them all. That took a lot longer than I would have liked. Um, so yeah. It's not that far of a swim, I don't think. Yeah, as you probably could tell by the time, it did not want to spawn. And to think this is only the start of the farming of this episode. This episode is a lot of farming. For all your passion, well, I don't really mind Gorg that much. His Blade Quest is not a favorite of mine. Simply because of all the farming. It was pain enough trying to try, trying to work on a Pyro's Affinity chart. Gorg. It's farming the side quest. So, with that all done, let's go ahead and use in this fire. And, well, I'll get the stuff and set fire. If I can actually land on this island. There we go. Envelops the world in its what is it you hope to achieve with this fire, Gorg? Do tell us. To burn the stuff we've collected, of course. Seems a bit of a waste to burn all of this. Ah, it'll be fine. What's this? Alligos are attracted by smells, you know. It's a funny thing. If we make skillful use of this, we can get them to come over here. Perhaps. Indeed, the things that we gathered earlier are giving off a certain odor. If the smell starts to waft over their way, they'll probably come over this way. If we play it right, we can collect up the cargo without having to fight them. Meh, that really enough to bring them? It's fine, it's fine. I know what I'm doing. Now, let's find a good vantage point to watch the action unfold. Excellent. Well, maybe we didn't get all of them, but it'll be a lot easier to collect what we need now. Wow! Gorg, a very dependable chap! Well, thanks. But you know, I'm just doing my regular thing. Alright then. So with them all the way over there, we can now do things a lot safer. We got the first painting. Second painting. And third painting. Cool. We got them all. So now we can head on back. So yeah, there's not really much on this island. You could try to go fight the Aligo, but... It's a meh. They're kind of nasty. There's a lot of them. I don't have my healer. And I want to dedicate my time to something else this episode. Namely, the rest of the side quests, since we're already going to be pressed for time. So, we're going to go ahead and turn in this quest. And you already can tell, this is not the end of it all. Alright then. 
Well, we got everything we need. Hey, we are back with your paintings. Oh, no kidding. Thanks, you lot. You're one in a million. Indeed, they're, they all seem to be safe and accounted for. But now that I look at it, they're pretty poor, aren't they? I'd be embarrassed to show these in public. Nothing to be ashamed of, in my opinion. There's a saying, passion is a road to betterment. As long as you hold a passion for painting, there is no limit to what you can achieve. You think, yeah, maybe you're right. You've started getting, getting my creative juices flowing again. I'm busy enough with my restaurant chain as it is, but maybe I can set aside some time to get back into it. Hmm, did you say restaurant chain? I did, what about it? Are you interested in the food, or maybe the cooking? Well, as it happens, I'm sort of a confectioner, cum passea, you could say. An enthusiast, at least. I try not to give it much, though. Much thought, though. Being a blade and all. Oh, come on. After everything you just said, now you tell me you're trying to hide your own hobbies? What happened to you? Passion is a road to betterment. As long as you've, you've got the passion, anything's possible, no? Heh, <laughs> true, true. You've got me there. Now about your reward. How about I let you... How about I lend one of my shops to you? Tentatively, of course. As it happens, one of them's unoccupied at the moment. You manage the shop itself, and I'll pick, handle the upkeep. But I will have to take a percentage of your earnings. Well, what do you say? Wow, I have to say, it's an incredible, tempting offer. I'm afraid I have to decline because, well... Now, slow down. Why don't you take a look and see for yourself first? If you like the looks of the place, my offer still stands. But I... Come on, Gorg. We can at least go and see it, can't we? If you still don't like it, you can always turn down the offer later on. Well, if you insist. Let's see it, then. It's at the plaza in your Fonz Mima gate. Take your time and look around. Alright, then. So, to the other side of town we go. There we go. So, yeah, so now we're starting to see where the side quest kind of goes to the crapper. So, right over here we have our little shop. Wow, this is a swanky looking place, isn't it? And an excellent location, too. You seem to be quite enamored with it. I can't deny it. I'd love to set up shop in a place like this. Then I see no reason not to accept Albin's kind offer. What are you going to put on sale? You can't open shop without having some kind of supplies, right? Well... I've made all sort of candy in my free time. I thought maybe I could rustle up a few new recipes based on my past experiments. Nice, hey, sign me up as a taste tester. But first, we need to get raw ingredients. We can't start without those. I see. Then tell us where to find them. We'll gather them for you. That'd be a great help, thanks. Alright, so first up we're going to make cookies. I thought up with three recipes we could try for that. Hot cookies, neon cookies, and blood cookies. I want to start off with a selection of those three and offer them to customers as samples. Gotcha, come on guys. Let's get moving before I start drooling in anticipation. This is where the side quest sucks. So we can only bake uh, neon cookies, which is the required stuff. For the hot cookies... What you need is hot oranges. You can find these in Clume Farms in the, uh, more in a Gormont. Um, Bellroot Bellroot Grass, you can find them in Letharia's Beach. And as for Endel Tea, you have to buy them in Endel. If you've already passed the, uh, point in Chapter 8 coming up, Endel Tea will relocate to Letharia. For Blood Cookies... Spore fruit, you can find them in the Spirit Crucible Elpies, Bloodroot, same area. Bloody Claw, you have to salvage in Lotharia. As for the Neon Cookies, things are a lot easier. Welcome Cactuses, you can find all over Moradain. 
As for the Moonbeam, you can find them in Dawnview Gr Grotto, very commonly up in that area. Or alternatively, Clear Sky Peak, very common in that area also. As for Rebellion, Fonset Beach is the best place to farm those. Again, so, let's make them. I'm really proud of this recipe, if I do say so myself. Cookies that'll change flavor with each one you try. And the way they crumble in your mouth. Yeah, I'm liking this. You can put this on the menu for sure. Now I think it's time we give some thoughts to Flans. We can't just let cookies steal all the limelight, can we? I've already thought of four recipes we can use. I just hope one of them will be good enough to sell us a staple here. Alright then, next up for flan we have four recipes. So we can make fumble flan which is not the required one. So, for the uh, loft calf one, again a loser. Sumpkins you can find all over Gormot, namely Clear Sky Peak. Mystery Hotel you can find in Letheria Cloudways. For the coffee, which is what we don't have, you can find it at, Garf at Garfont Village. For Rumble of Flan, Melidius Melons you can find in Gormot. Sky, the uh, Clear Sky Peak is a very good place for them. Missile Row, again, Cloud Skyways, and Love Beyond the Clouds you can find in Moradane. Fumble Fum, well, we've already got all of these. Wibble Weed you can find in, in Temperantia all over the place. Missile Row, again, we've already done that. And Ancient Chalice, Salvage, and Moradane. Since we already have all this stuff, we can try it. As for the Snipe Flan, well, we need Victory Lokot. You can find all over the main. The best place you can find it is in the Gullet Pathway. This one we've already done. Armu, Milk, Earl Grey. Wait a minute. Heh 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 heh. So, funny thing. I'm sure Past Me is probably more than enlightened. In order to actually finish the side quest, we need to wait until Chapter 9. Stupid game design. So, in order to make the correct ingredient for Gorg, what you need for Snipe Flan is Armu Milk. You can only buy this after he moves here in Chapter 9. It's honestly stupid. I hate it, but at long last, hopefully we can finally finish up this bloody side quest. I wanted to do this the last side quest batch. Meh. Secure the perimeter. Alright then, so let's make some sweets. Some snipe flan. We have a lot of stuff. Ah, it's like my head seems to be a feel clearer with each, with each bite. These are incredibly appetizing. Yeah, this will be perfect for the menu. Customers are sure to come back for more. Right, I think that's enough for the warming up stage. We got decent recipes lined up for the cookies and the flans, but now the time has come to bring out the hallmark of any pastilla, the cake. We are going to make the best cake all of us has ever known and turn it into our number one product. Alright then. So, wave, wave three. We need the special tart. The winner is going to be Love Mary. For Love Mary, we are missing... Um, Vine Nut and Mooka Flower. Mooka Flower is required for all of these. So, start things out from the very top for Starlet. Dual Lion, you buy this in Uriah at the uh, hobby shop. Ruby Magazines, you can find them all over here in, more, in Uriah. For the Mooka Flower, we are going to uh, get ahead of the Geothermal Power Plant. And Black Pomegranate, the Elderwood in Uriah is also a good place for them. Next up for this one, Tartan and Ladybird. Here we are. You find these at the Trade Guild. As you can see, I have like a million of them. Um, Melogian Honey. You find these in uh, Gormot in the uh, Melogian Honey Hive area. Close to the border between the right and left back area. And then the Silvery Pearl Gem. You find them salvaging in... Um, where is it? Moradain. Yeah, that's why I have so many of them. Next up, Love Mary Cake, which is going to be the winner. And Glitter Spud, which is going to be another loser. Um, Glitter Spuds, you find them in our in the uh, trade deck, which is why I have so many. Vine Nut, we are going to need to find in Tantal. 
Milk of flour, we already said, and phonic coil. Where is the phonic coil? Trade guild salvaging. So, for the last one, we need choice cherries. They are found in Letheria Harbor. Cranberries, which we already have. And the uh, Gormat Saggy Fell. The last two, Mooka Honey, Mooka Flower, is once again at the Geothermal Power Plant. And Love Raspberries, the old plumbing distance in Moradane. So, Moradane we go. Flora heals an aching soul. Alright then. Love Raspberry, which we just picked up. Thing we found here at the pipe maintenance office. And along here in the main path. Relatively easy to find. You pick up one more. Alright, Mooka Flower. You can find them right by the entrance of the geothermal power plant. Located right in this general area. It's required for all of them. So you're going to need these one way or another if you want to go for the losers or the winners. It's a walk. There is an additional spot in the uh, um, factory, but factory is kind of not a very nice place right now. So this is going to be the next best place. Meh, meh. All right then. And with that, we can make this and finish out the side quest. We got the Love Mary Cake. There we go. It's finished. If Poppy may say so, that looked very cute. Glad to hear it, Poppy. I hope the taste doesn't disappoint. Poppy loved the name too. Love Mary Cake sounds very sweet. Kind of you to say. This here is my absolute masterpiece. Well, this ain't half bad. And these products. I can see they're becoming they're incredibly well made. This place will be bustling before you know it. You're welcome to open up shop as soon as you like. Hmm, the thing is, I'm a travel at heart. I was thinking we need to hire some employees for while I'm away. Don't worry about that. I can manage the staff here on my end. Oh, neat. Thank you. But tell me, why are you doing all this for me? Well, we both have dreams we want to realize. You helped me, so now I'm helping you. That's the way, that's all there is to it. I'm going to keep working on my painting skills, too. So you just keep making your sweets. That will make us both happy campers. I'm really grateful for all of us. Thanks again. I'll show you the best I can be whether I'm fighting or baking. Still early days for the latter, though, wouldn't you say? <laughs> True enough. You'll be getting busy soon. Get your friends to help out, won't you? Oh, I'm sure they won't mind. Borag, would you mind helping in the kitchen? Hmm. You want me to help? Yeah, I'm sure you'd be first rate at this kind of thing. Really? Well, I don't have much experience, but I'll do what I can. Tor and Poppy, could I ask you to get some more ingredients? Yes, yes! Please input quantities and products. 36 choice cherries and 62 love raspberries. 102 measures of mooka flour and 57 cranberry bells. Got it! Dora and Poppy will fetch! Dromark? Could you perhaps go and get the other essentials? Why, of course. I'll be back in the gym. Everyone else, you're in charge of PR. Roll up. Gold's just desserts is officially open. Come see, possibly the first chance in history to taste the Blade Maid desserts. Forget the rest, get the best.
I have to say, people have gone bonkers over your sweet, Skorg. That goes for me as well. Once we are finished with the fighting malarkey, you should settle down here. Do what you love most. I never have gotten the opportunity if you hadn't awakened me from my core crystal, Zeke, even if I was the last. I exist to serve you, to keep you safe. So I never really crossed my mind to think about what I'd do after I left the battlefield. But maybe someday, when this is all over, I'll make candy for you and we can all sit down together and have a blast. What do you say? Will you let me subject you to some sweet, sweet celebration? Heck yeah! And we have completed Follow Your Passion. Hooray! So some decent experience all around. And once you complete that, you unlock Just Desserts. Oh. Alright. Gorg, you need to get promoted. There we go. I aim to please with my desserts. So with this, Gorg, just like a lot of other rare blades, you require you, you require a lot of farming with them, and merc missions don't cut it. So from this, you can go back through and repeat your uh, stuff. You can make neon cookies, snipe flan, and your love merry cake as many times as you like, since these are your winning stuff. So yeah, just make as many of these as you want, and you can go about doing some farming for these. Do I really recommend it? Eh. Gorg is honestly not that great of a rare blade in my opinion. I mean, he's pretty good, yeah, but... I'd much rather go around using my Cosmos, using my Telos, using my uh, absurdly overpowered Mithra, Cutie Pie. Gorg is sadly misplaced, and plus his element really isn't that great. I mean, Nia's forced to have Dromark, so there's water element. You have a Xeon, and you also have, um, uh, for literally forgot her name. Um, Praxis, who's also water blade, and has some pretty good skills underneath her, primarily special. So, Gorg is alright. So with that, we made pretty good progress this episode. We managed to, well, do another blade quest and start more cleanup. Next time in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I think it's time we go monster hunting. To be exact, Zenobia, I feel she has some uh, blood and she's ready to scrap at some random monsters. I will see you guys then. Is our teamwork that lousy? Uh, no. It's nothing like that. It wasn't any of your fault. I was just... <gasps> I knew it. It is indeed a fruit filling. And bathed in some liquid, no less. But what is it? Honey? Fruit juice? What is Gorg doing? <laughs> oh, uh, my apologies. Where were we again? Ah, yes. I have a proposition. I suggest in future we arrange our units as follows, so that... Oh my word. Can it be true? There is something more than just fruit contained within that crispy exterior. It's... It's cream. But what kind of cream? Ah, I can't take it any longer. I must know what kind of cream they're using. Uh, Gorg. What? Oh, I'm uh, very sorry. Uh, now, now about our strategy. That not problem here. What Gorg say in mind, Gorg actually say in mouth. We hear everything. You, you heard all that? Silly Gorg. If Gorg want dessert so badly, Gorg should just say. No, but I, uh... It's all fine. Tora wants to eat tasty yum-yums too. That okay, everyone? I suppose I'm up for that. Uh, what do you want to order, Gorg? Well, in th that case, I'll have three of what that woman's having. 